answering life's questions. It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS, 101.1 FM and AM 1160, 945 in the morning. AccuWeather says we're on the way today to 33 degrees. We're up to 13 in downtown Indiana right now. And in all of this cold weather, they made it the whole way through to visit with us today from Homer Center High School. We've got a group of students with us, and we've also got uh, their, their, their mentor and their, their guide, their director, their shepherd. She is with us this morning, Deanne Magoldis. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Our pleasure. And you brought with you uh, three people representing... Homer Center High School Student Council and the school newspaper, the HC Observer. All right, so we're going to meet them all, Chevelle Kenny and Allie George and Landon Schaup with us here this morning, and uh, we're talking about the Teddy Bear Fun Drive, huh? Yeah, yeah we are. Back um, to it this year, which was exciting. Yeah, and it's exciting for us, too, <laughs> to know that you're you're doing such wonderful work for, for the kids, and, and we're so grateful that you come in. Uh, do you guys have something prepared, or you just want me to go at you? <laughs> Just go ahead. All right. All right. Well, Landon, you're standing by the microphone uh, to my right. So let's start with you this morning. And, and you're a member of student council? Yes. Uh-huh. And you're in what grade? Uh, eighth grade. You're in eighth grade. So uh, you've been taking part in this teddy bear fun drive probably through your elementary years and all the way up to now, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So what was it like for you this year? What did you do? We uh, did uh, restaurant days where kids would prepare food and then bring it in and you would pay for the food and then we would take the money and give it to teddy uh-huh. bear. Uh huh. So you actually prepared the food? Yeah. Uh, and were then, you personally? Did oh, you no, do any of that? Oh no, my class did. Seventh and eighth grade class. Okay, because I would be kind of worried. Uh, frankly, Landon, I would be very worried if I. No, I'm just kidding. No, um, I would be worried too. <laughs> <laughs> but it was very successful. It huh? was very successful. Yes. Yeah. Now, was it just for your class or for? Uh, no, the entire school. Could come for the entire there. school. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, terrific. Do you have an idea of how much you were able to raise just through that? I'm not. Quite sure. Uh, we know the total funds we have. I'm not sure the total funds for the restaurant days. Mm-hmm. It was significant, though, this year. Yeah, yeah. Kids love the opportunity to come down and eat the food that's offered and take a break from their class to get a chance to get a bite to eat. So sure, nice. sure. So how many days did you do restaurant days? Two days we did. Two days? Yeah. Both in December? Yes. Yeah. Days before Christmas break. Yeah, yeah. Did you have fun doing it? It did, was very fun. Did you yeah. get to serve? Yeah, it was yeah. very fun. I bet you. I bet you it was a lot of fun. Terrific. Chevelle, let's talk to you this morning. Chevelle right. Kenny is with us. You're in what grade? 10th grade. You're in 10th grade. And uh, tell me about your involvement in, in Teddy Bear Fun Drive activities. I am part of the HC Observer. Uh, we hosted the 12 Days of Christmas Spirit Days to raise money, uh, basically the 12 days before our Christmas break. Mm-hmm. We had people donate $1 to basically dress up and spread Christmas spirit before we went on break. Oh, yeah. So 12 days, that means uh, 12 different opportunities to dress up. Was it themed? Yeah, each day was themed. We had, like, PJ Day and, like, Christmas Tree Topper Day where we could wear, like, hats. Uh-huh. It was very fun. The students enjoyed it. Yeah. Who looked the worst? In, no, don't tell me who looked the worst <laughs> in their PJs because that wouldn't be that wouldn't be a very nice thing to do. But the kids all got into it, huh? Yeah. We actually had a lot of participation. So mm-hmm. it was great. Was it across all grade levels as well? Yeah, it was. Yeah. And and a lot of people participated, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Now I'd be to me, I would say that probably uh, the kids in the seventh, eighth, ninth grade, uh, the younger grades, uh, they would be more likely to participate than those cool cats in the older grades. But Actually, I I feel like our seniors are very into school spirits. So oh they, yeah. They really dressed up yeah. a lot. Wow, that's terrific. That's terrific. Everybody loves an opportunity to wear their pajamas to school. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that's a bonus. No one's ever going to pass. A lot of that. faculty was involved as well. So yeah. that was fun. Faculty PJs? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We were doing faculty PJs? Yeah. Yep. All right. Who had the most surprising PJs? I don't want to know that one either. I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of festive PJs. A lot of, like, red plaids and, uh-huh. yeah, holiday PJs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, one would guess. One would guess. Well, that's mm-hmm. terrific, Chevelle, that you were able to do that, too. That was... Um, 12 different days. Were they 12 consecutive days? They were. So you did PJ Day, you did uh, Christmas Topper Day. What were some of the other days? There was like an ugly sweater day. Uh huh. Um, we had um, Christmas Vacation Day this year. So it was like a holiday, you know, travel theme. So we had tourists that were dressed up. Oh, yeah. Christmas Vacation Day. Oh, that's day. cool. Yeah. It was, it was plaid. You wore plaid, Allie. I did wear plaid, yeah. Mad about yeah. plaid. <laughs> <laughs> What did you say, Chevelle? It was weird to see what? It was weird to see people wearing Hawaiian shirts for uh, the few days before Christmas. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. For tourist day. Flip-flops? Were there flip-flops? Yeah. There, there were flip-flops in involved in December at Homer Center. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. 
Allie, let's learn about you and, and what you were doing and uh, what you were uh, uh, participating in. Well, I'm I'm a senior. Mm -hmm. so I'm Let's get also, you a little closer to the microphone there, please. I'm a senior, and I'm like the editor of the newspaper, so I kind of helped with the 12 Days of Christmas, and I also helped take photos and kind of, I don't want to say helped with like the running of volleyball and dodgeball, but I kind of made sure that they were aware that if they needed anything, mm -hmm. I was there. Um, so the volleyball and dodgeball tournament happened around Thanksgiving. So it was before the prep for the 12 days of Christmas. Mm -hmm. And I also kind of helped make it public about the spirit week for homecoming mm -hmm. that also tied into raising money for. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me about the volleyball tournament, because I think that would be really interesting because Homer center had a really good volleyball team this year. Did you sort of get, put ringers on teams? They didn't all gather up as one team, did they? No. Okay. Most people love the volleyball tournament because they just kind of combine grades occasionally and just they pair up with their friends and they dress up in the color that they choose and in these funky outfits and they go head to head with like sometimes teachers and students. And my favorite part is like seeing a group of teachers and a group of students just like get very zoned in on like winning against each other. And <laughs> I think that's the main part of why everyone loves it. Mm -hmm. Our faculty team is pretty notorious. They've been, they've been, they've won for several years. So. I mean, yeah, like you're part of that. I am. I didn't get to play this year though. <laughs> yeah, did you play in college? I did play college. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. We have a couple. Favorite. We have a couple college ringers, so <laughs> that helps. That helps. So they're hyper competitive, huh, Abby? Yeah, very much so. She, Allie. on, I've watched her for two years do it. She is very competitive, and uh -huh. I love seeing her go against <laughs> my grade. Yeah. And she's just so like. I don't want to say aggressive, but kind of. She just gets so zoned in, and it's just like... Let's call it competitive. Competitive. Aggressively mm -hmm. competitive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it works. And she just, like, I love watching it, because both teams, like, volleyball players now, and then teachers who know how to play from, like, college or, like, high school, and it's just such a fun experience to watch. Mm -hmm. I don't participate in it, because I'm not an athletic person, but I love watching it, so I can only imagine how fun it is to actually play. So, Allie, what you're telling me is uh, Magulis over there, uh, she gets her game face on. And she's, oh, she's definitely. Pretty nasty, huh? I wouldn't call it nasty. <laughs> but fun. Yeah. But fun. And the other one was uh, dodgeball? Or? Yes. It's dodgeball. Yeah, it's the same way. I'm not that sure. That was new this year, right? Yeah. yeah. I, Student council? Uh, something we brought up with uh, Mrs. Woods and Mr. Pangonis. Yeah, that last, was a new. It part was like of this year. it was last minute kind of. Yeah, toss it in there. So you came up with that one, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I I bet you that was hyper competitive. Oh, too. that was definitely. And I bet you if there was a faculty team there that everybody wanted to line up against them. Oh yeah, I do believe there was a faculty. Team I think there was one yeah. as well. I think oh, yeah. so. <laughs> yeah. So these were all, of course, uh, we talk about how much fun they were, but they were all they all had the the targeted aim of of raising money for the teddy bear fun drive. All the activities. And the final one was the ping pong tournament, um, which is sponsored by our fitness club. And they do that every year. Uh -huh. uh, last year, they did not get to due to COVID regulations. But um, that's kind of been a tradition at Homer for yeah, I mean, I many that. years now. Five or six years, they've done the ping pong tournament the day before Christmas break. Do you know who won? Um, this year, our winner, oh, that was, yes, it was David Eastman was the winner. And he is a sophomore. Yeah. yeah. So he won. And that's awesome, too, because it competes 7 to 12. They have different brackets. And at the end... The junior high bracket plays the senior high bracket, and David came out with the. They do a paddle. They carve the, you know, the yeah. winning what's into that. Uh, what shop class? Yeah. Whittled the paddle. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wood, and wood I, shop got in on it too. Huh? Yes. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Adams STEM Lab does the laser engraving on it so mm -hmm. that they can put the, you know, the first place finisher and everything. So it's exciting. Boy, school is so much more cool than it was when I was. <laughs> Man. We're lucky. We have a great environment at Homer, which allows us to do these t do these activities with the kids. And um, I think it builds a great culture for the kids and the teachers together. We have yeah. a lot of fun during the holiday. You can see the, the, the whole group just pulls together. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. Uh, I know just, you know, from, from doing Homer Center basketball, uh, just how what what a cool school it is. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it really is. It's, a, it's that family atmosphere. You really have to like it a lot. And you guys seem like you're enjoying it too, huh? Yeah. 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 All right. So... As the siren goes by, <laughs> see, we're, we're live radio here. We don't mess around. We get live radio going here. So you have in, in your possession a check for the Teddy Bear Fund Drive. Yep. Yep. Who wants to make the big announcement? Landon, your student council, you're in charge of all of it, so why don't you go yeah. ahead and do that? The total was one, oh, this one. Yep. 
$1,620. $1,620 for the teddy bear fund drive. Wow, that is just tremendous, and, and what a great effort by the entire school. Uh, it's not easy in this day and age, especially these last two or three years, yeah. to do anything, let alone to have something organized such as this and, and to have everybody buy into it. it. It really is a special effort, isn't it? Yeah, we were very fortunate. We were disappointed last year that this, these types of activities couldn't take place. I know the kids were disappointed last year, but you could see this year how happy everybody was to be yeah. back to, I see some type of normal routine yeah. and being able to do those things. So we might good. have to redefine normal. A yeah. Bit, I think that is a little different, there. but yeah, it's, think, it's getting there, which I is think, nice. I think yeah. it was cool because the eighth graders didn't like this year's eighth graders didn't get to do it last year. So both the seventh and eighth graders this year had a new experience for. Yeah. The restaurant days yeah. specifically. Yeah. Oh, that's a that great, great point, Landon. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the things we don't think about is the things that you lose out on when you have something like that happen. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and the fact that you're able to finally come together and do this. What a great job by the kids at Homer Center. And and as always, uh, and Deanne, you know this, um, uh, it's not just the kids, it's their families, it's their yeah. parents, their brothers and sisters, their grandparents, it's the people in the office at the school, it's the faculties, uh, it, it's everybody coming together and that whole community aspect of Homer Center is what it's all about. Definitely. We, we are so blessed. I mean, we have families that donated, as Landon said, donated food. We have people that donated money, you know, to help in all these areas. All of the teachers that were in charge of the different clubs or activities. Mrs. Janik was in charge of the restaurant days. Um, it's just, it's a lot of work, but everybody knows that it's worth a good cause and they're happy to support it. So we're very fortunate that yeah. we're able to do that. And we're fortunate that we have folks like you doing things like this for the teddy bear fund drive. Landon, get that total again. $1,620. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thanks to the Homer Center community, thanks to the high school kids and faculty and the office staff and everybody for making it happen, the custodial staff for cleaning up after you. <laughs> so uh, true. Because <laughs> I know that can be a chore. Uh, thanks to you for coming in to visit with us today. We appreciate it. Thanks so much for having us. We really appreciate the opportunity. It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS, 101.1 FM and AM 1160.